Well, welcome to another RDWorks Learning Lab with a bit of a difference. First of all, we can hear all the bird sounds in the background because it's only about half past six in the morning. And I'm on holiday. I decided I would um, share this little bit of information with you because it's in preparation for um, some more video that I shall be doing in the future. Now, I had some problems with the last video trying to get some high speed footage. So, what I've done, I've been around and had a look to see if I could find any high speed cameras. And stupidly, this particular camera at about 50 pounds can produce full frame videos at 240 frames a second. And that's quite staggering for 50 pounds. So I looked at the reviews and they looked pretty good. So I thought, well, I'll invest 50 pound and see what we get. We get this little thing that looks just like the picture. On the back, it's got its battery compartment. And hiding away just here, which is undoubtedly going to get lost at some stage, is a little cover that covers over all of the things that you need to use with it. So we've got an HDMI, and just there we've got a little micro SIM card. Now, word of warning, I did buy a micro SIM card off of eBay. Whenever you buy micro SIM cards or anything with a high gigabyte value there is a risk that you're buying something that isn't what it purports to be and even though I've been caught before and got my money back I got caught again and got my money back when I bought a 64 gigabyte chip it's supposed to be a class 10 I popped it into this computer and I had a look to see what was on the chip itself now technically there should be nothing on there, it should just be formatted and blank and ready to use. But there were all sorts of files with Chinese type character names. Hmm, always suspicious. So I decided that I would wipe the card and reformat it. Not as easy as it sounded, it didn't really want to format properly. And as a consequence, um, I couldn't do anything with the chip at all. So. I'm sure that it was a, a dud chip that had been somehow doctored to make it look like it was a good chip. So I complained to eBay, got my money back, and I've bought a proper 32 gigabyte Kingston one. There are all sorts of reviews on eBay about its performance, so I'm not going to bother to go into that. You can go and look at those for yourself. But what I want to show you is just basically how easy it is to use. It's got one or two quirky things about it. I've turned this on, and I have it configured so that as soon as it turns on, it automatically connects the Wi-Fi. Um, otherwise, you need to go and search for the Wi-Fi manually. Now, the other thing that you will need to use with this, because it has no viewfinder on it at all, you need a smartphone. And then we need to go to the Play Store. We need to go and search for YI camera, or YI. And here we go, YI camera app. This is the one that I'm using. So that's the one that I have installed on this phone. There it is. We just check that we've got our Wi-Fi still working with its blue flashing light. We skip all this adverty stuff until we get to this green dot at the bottom here. And then we can press that. Oh, I didn't press connect to Wi-Fi. And there we go. And we have a quick scan around. And as you can see, that currently says it's 480p, 480 pixels, um, and it's 240 frames a second. We can go into the settings, and we can change the resolution to all sorts of resolutions anything from 230 to 1296 we've got full HD 1920 at 24p full HD at 30p full HD at 60p there's all sorts of choices on here so you can have high quality or high speed I only bought this for the high speed I'm not interested in doing any action man stuff not at my age so that's how easy it is to use. We just have this one lead supplied which either allows us to charge up from the computer or your phone charger 
or vice versa it sends the information from the camera down to the computer for, an, for editing so let's just have a quick look at some footage and I'll say goodbye from my holiday home and uh, see you at some stage in the future when I get back and uh, we start experimenting with this on the machine itself <laughs>